and welcome back to the channel. It is Matt or Stussy Copen here for another video. So I had a re uh, recommendation from the Parish Man underscore J to do a video on the 24 valve 59 Cummins. So today we are going to do another The Sad Truth video, which is pros and cons and some kind of jokes. Whether you think they're funny or not, I'm going to include them in the video. But we are going to do the 24 valve Cummins. Sorry, I had to go make some lunch, two pounds of mac and cheese to get ready for this video. All right, so I'm going to start off this video by saying I like Cummins, I like Power Stroke, I obviously like Duramax because I own a Duramax. None of this is meant to offend anybody, it's all in good fun, so you can share it to your friends, they can kind of see like where the stereotypes fall into place and stuff like that. It's not meant to piss anybody off, but we're gonna throw in some jokes. And uh, I'm going to devour this mac and cheese. All right, so I'm going to start off by stating that there is no better truck to catch the eye of every single one of your female relatives that want to constantly be in your truck than Dodge Cummins. Like, seriously, here's an actual clip of uh, a guy that, you know, I've heard of before. His name's Ricky. His, uh, his cousin said that, you know, she should go to prom with him. And this was his reaction. Now, rumor has it that after Ricky did, you know, his little donut, his burnout on his way to his cousin's house to pick her up for prom... He ended up having tranny issues. Now, that's one thing with the Dodge Cummins. I will say they're about the equivalent to the tranny issues that Caitlyn Jenner has. Let's be real. One thing that I will say for sure about the Cummins, whether it's a 12-valve or a 24-valve, I prefer the startup sound of a Cummins over a Duramax, like even my Duramax, which is a straight pipe, 5-inch straight pipe. I like the Duramax scream when you're on it, but I like the tone of the Cummins. All right, guys, we're gonna do the first startup of the LB7 Duramax five-inch straight pipe. I have to go out of my way to go underneath the tunnel on the way home. I, I just have to. Now I know it's the same with a lot of you guys as it is for me where you hear a certain exhaust and you know exactly what vehicle it is before you even have to turn around. It is all like seriously in, in all 100% honesty, it's, it's a personal preference thing. Um, ultimately when it came down to buying my Duramax, I just kind of went for the best deal that was out there and I picked up my Duramax with 140,000 miles for 11 grand which wasn't too crazy of a price, um, you know, in comparison to some of the five nines and the seven threes that were in the area. Um, just to get a seven three, you're still talking about fourteen to sixteen grand for a similar mileage seven three, or even to get a five nine Cummins. Uh, second gens around here are like a pot of gold. Everybody freaking loves second gens around here. So that played a lot into me buying my first diesel pickup truck. Another thing, just like. Any other vehicle out there, they all have their issues. 
Um, the 5.9 had lift pump issues. It's no different than my LB7 having injector issues. It's no different than, you know, the Cummins having tranny issues and, and all that other stuff. Um, six O's, obviously I just did a video about that. Um, each manufacturer had their issues with their trucks. There's no truck that is going to be perfect. Um, a lot of guys swear by Ford. A lot of guys swear by GM. A lot of guys swear by Dodge. Um, so a lot of the time, a lot of people get into like a kick of, well, the Cummins is automatically better than the Power Stroke and the Duramax or vice versa based off of your own personal opinion. When you really sit down and you compare them side by side by side, they're very similar in every single way. It's like guys that prefer Camaros over Mustangs. Now, obviously you guys know I'm a Camaro guy and I have two of them. Um, it's not to say that I don't like Mustangs. It's it has to do with a lot of the big fact that that is that's my personal preference. Um, my first vehicle was a 1988 Camaro that I completely restored. It's a it's a very big thing that like you get this mindset that you just you gotta stay true to what you like, and uh, that happens with a lot of stuff. And this is gonna sound stupid, but like me personally, when I go to dinner, if I get something to eat there before and I enjoyed it, I'm gonna get it every freaking time because that's that's just how I am. I'm super picky about like how I spend my money and stuff like that. So if I go to the same place for dinner and I spend 10 bucks on a meal that I don't like, I feel like I just blew away $10. Now, a lot of people stay away from going into the realm of Cummins, going into the realm of Power Stroke, going into the realm of Duramax because of their opinions. And, and truthfully, do I think that I will always have a Duramax? Probably not. Honestly, um, the newer Power Strokes, I really like. I like the 6.7s. The my dad has a 6.7. Um, I also like the LMLs. My brother has an LML. Um, you know, and his is, his is deleted. It's fantastic. It's, it all comes down to what people like and what people are really looking to get. Now, obviously, like I said, um, I wanted to get a diesel when I first got mine and I was initially planning on going with Ford, and I know a lot of the times I talk a lot of shit on Ford. It's it's just it's just who I am. I I talk shit even 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 on GM. You know what I mean? I talk crap on GM products. I talk crap on on everything. Uh, my buddy Devin was actually making fun of me yesterday because I always gave him crap that his Cobalt SS was slow as shit. And I've teetered the idea of getting a Cobalt SS. I I like the idea of having all GM vehicles, that's just my personal preference, and I'm looking to get a daily. Um, something that's, you know, not fast, but it's quick, something that I can use to, you know, to park my truck and uh, just get better fuel mileage. And I've also teetered the idea of getting another Camaro or possibly getting a C5 Corvette, which I did post on Instagram, you know, what you guys would want to see on the channel ultimately. And uh, you guys are blowing up the feed right now. Like it's, it's freaking awesome because it, it has me stoked that you guys are paying attention and that you guys are interested in what could potentially be on the channel. And all that bases off of me producing videos, you guys enjoying the videos, you guys sharing the videos, telling your friends. And you know, regardless of if people think that I'm an ass for doing these sad truth videos, it's not, like I said, it's not meant to offend anybody. I mean, anybody can turn around and talk shit on me. I'm not going to get upset about it. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot of back and forth. People get upset about stupid little shit instead of looking at the bigger picture. Like at the end of the day, Joe Schmigel Dick could make fun of you for owning a Cummins, but he drives a four cylinder Ranger. You know what I mean? So you just got to like not take that stuff to, you know, to the heart and just keep moving forward. And Truthfully, that's what I do. You know, people didn't agree with the fact that I bought an LB7 Duramax. Everybody was like, oh, you got to get an LBZ. Well, there was like a $12,000 price difference between the LB7 and the LBZ. And for the amount that I tow, obviously, you know, we're getting ready to get a fifth wheel camper here next year. Um, I only tow like my four wheelers, my snowmobile, um, random miscellaneous stuff, you know, when I have to. And for the majority of the time, my truck sits. Um, I've been daily driving a Mark IV Jetta that's going to my little brother. So, you know, everybody wants to talk trash. Everybody wants to say that, oh, your truck's a pavement princess. So you don't need a diesel. You don't tell. If buying a diesel is something that you want to do, do it. If, if you want to buy a Prius, buy a Prius. You know what I mean? Granted, everybody's going to take shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take shit for posting this video. Every the sad truth video that I've posted... 
people give me crap about. But in the same token, it's it's doing exactly what I wanted it to do, and it's drawing people into the channel. Um, and it gives it gives something for people to share their buddies that have that vehicle to kind of give them a chuckle or see you know what their reaction is. All right, guys. Well, that is where we are going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed the video today, give the video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below and tag your comments, buddies. Who knows, maybe there'll be future subscribers and follow the other content on the channel like the LB7 Duramax, the 3rd Gen Camaro, and my 4-door Jeep Wrangler. Till next time guys, see ya!